सो वेलकम टू द डेली लॉस ऑफ कोडिंग आई एम अभिषेक एंड आई एम एक्साइटेड टू हैव यू देयर वे वी हैव सीन यू गेटिंग योर प्रॉब्लम बट वी अप फॉर द लीड कोड दैट वी टैकल टुगेदर सो इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल स्टेट डाइव इनटू द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द डे वी विल एनालाइज इट्स रिक्वायरमेंट्स गिव हाई सी स्ट्रेटजी एंड इंप्लीमेंट एन एफिशिएंट सॉल्यूशन स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल्स आई एनकेज यू टू डू सो एंड हिट द नोटिफिकेशन बेल टू स्टे अपडेटेड We regularly share the coding challenges, tutorials, tips, and tips to help you to become the proficient problem solver. So let's jump into the problems of the today without any further ado. So grab your coding tools, fasten your seat belts, and get ready to experience your coding process and processes. So let's move into the question. So the question is, we have to evaluate the division. Means that in the questions we are given, there are two values: the equations and the values. The equation is the vector of vector of. strings while the values is the vector of the table so we are given the equations which is there are let's suppose there are two variables in this example so there is the relation between these two variables is that if we divide this a to b we will get this value similarly if we divide b to c we will get this value so using that values using that relations we have to find out the relation that what will be the value if we divide a to c if we divide a to b we will get this and if we divide b to c we will get this so what will be the value if we divide a to c similarly for b to c we have to find the relation we have to a to e we have to find the relation similarly for this and this also and we have to return it as a vector of double in the answer that what will be the value for them so we have to first uh, convert this question into the graph question so the main intuition behind this question is how you can convert this question into the graph question so as you can see i have already solved this questions so Yeah, uh, I have already solved these questions earlier, but uh, um, uh, by fortunate, this question has come today's uh, daily question. So I have uh, time to explain you this question. So how you can convert this question into graph question? The main intuition behind this question is that only. That's why this question is the medium category. But because this question is very easy, if you know normal BFS or DFS, you can simply do that question. But the main thing is that how you can convert this question into graph question. So before uh, telling you that in, uh, intuition, let me take you to a drawings which is uh, this. so in this questions we are given an equation which is a b and b and c which is given the as equations okay and there is value which is given and we have to find these queries so we have, we have generated an relation between them so a and b are related to these values b and c are related to these values such that if we divide them we will get these values and we will get this value respectively so we will simply deduce a relation between them that a and b are related by this and their weights are this such that if we divide a to b we will get this similarly b and c are related to this such that if we divide b to c we will get 3.0 but what will be the value if we traverse back means that if what will be the value uh, what will be the relation between the c to b so it is simple that the relation between the c to b it will be 1 divided by 3.0 because if we divide a by b and it gives my value 2.0 then what will be the value between the b and a 1 by 2.0 that will be the simple common common sense okay similarly for the b and c also if we divide the b by c we will get 3.0 so what will be the value of c by b it will be the inverse of it so that's it so we will simply generate an inverse of it so we will make a relation between the c to b which is 1 divided by 3.0 it will be our new relation similarly for this also what will be the relation between a to b uh, let me draw the relation between them so it will be a new relation 1 divided by 2.0 so uh, this is the simple relation between them so now we have to find the relation between the a to c what is the relation between the a to c so as you can simply observe the relation between the a to c is simply a to b is 2.0 and b to c is 3.0 so what is the relation between a to c it is simply 2.0 since we have to multiply the value so it will be the 2.0 into 3.0 which is equals to 6 so you can see we have written the answer as 6 similarly for this also what will be the relation between b to a b to a is 1 by divided by 2.0 which is 0.5 so you can see that answer is 0.5 what is the value between the a to a so now here comes the new intuition behind it as e is not present in this questions in the graph so in the given equation there is no nodes called e so we have to return them as minus 1 as mentioned in the question similarly for this also let's suppose a here which is given a by a so what is the value if we divide something by itself only the answer will be 1 only so that's why we have will return that value as 1 okay and similarly for that also this part also what will be the value between x to x so since x is not present so we have to return minus 1 So the one thing that uh, I think you have the doubt is how you can get the value a divided by a equals to one, or basically b divided by a equals to uh, same sort of like zero point five. 
so for that we have to simply get the distance what is the distance uh, between a to a it is simply one what is the distance between a to c we have to multiply them so what is the distance between a to c 2.0 into 3.0 what is the distance between b to a it is 1.1 divided by 2.0 which is 0.5 so we have to simply multiply the distances between them so it is a very simple task if you know the basic dfs or bfs of the graph you can simply do that so okay let's move into the question so yeah we can start solving the questions and we will be using the map here not using the vector because there is uh, no information regarding the number of the nodes so yeah we are using the map and uh, yeah we can also use the another map but here we are i am using the map because yeah map is using that uh, uh, big of log n uh, insertion times uh, while the map can take a watch time of o of log n of n actually sorry so that's why i am using that uh, map uh, i prefer map over the another most cases and yeah we will be using a string as well as a vector of the string as a pair but here a is connected to b with a weight of 2.0 so for the same case b is connected to c for the weight of 3.0 and b is also connected to a for the weight of 2.0 for that why i am using that double because that uh, value is called map and we will name this as adjacency because it is working the same as what adjacency list do and yeah we will simply traverse over the equation part uh, so for that we will use um I will simply traverse over the equation string as u equals to what uh, the first value is what at the zero and the second value is at the first what we would want second index which is the value uh, from which it is connected that is that you can uh, use at two and you can use at from from two from a to b so you can consider it as this. Yeah, the weight will be the double part. Double of weight will be equal to what value is of uh, what i. And we will simply make a relation between them as addition t of what from dot uh, push back what pair. There will be a pair of what two and uh, weight. And for the same case. For the same case, we will be using that uh, vice versa for it, and here it, it, uh, the from will come. So we have made the addition list properly. Now we will uh, uh, do simple call or basically DFS. I will be using the DFS here, but you can also use the BFS uh, for this approach. So for each query, uh, for each query, we have to do two things. We have to take the source, which is the A, which is you can see that in here. Uh, let me open it uh, the source this is the source part and this is the destination so for each query we have to take the source that this part a and we have to take the destination and we have to traverse through the graph so if there are n number of queries we have to do n number of traversals and for each traversal there will be some sort of uh, dfs calls and uh, until and unless we will not reach the de destinations we cannot stop the dfs calls and if uh, we will continue the dfs then there uh, there will be the multiplication of their ages so for the first case uh, we will go from the a to b and b to c so first case it will be 3.0 multiplied to the 2.0 so answer will be 6.0 and for the next case i uh, will go from the b which is the source and the destination is a so for that case the answer will be the corresponding to that which is the 2.0 so for that we have to traverse through the uh, queries so for okay and what will be the query uh, I think so. It is a string of uh, SRC of uh, n of what? The first value is the SRC, and the second value is the destination. So you can use the destination as this, and yeah. And now we will simply check that uh, whether it is visited or not. But for the visited part, let me uh, make that visited array. Here we will simply not using the vector. Uh, instead, we will use the set for the visited, and because uh, uh, we do not have any index so we cannot use the vector we have we have the index as the string so we will simply use um string of visited uh, whenever any string is present inside the set it means that it is visited so yeah we will make some sort of answer which is a double type of what temp answer which we will we will uh, take during the traversal uh, so the temp uh, will carry on the traversals and the temp will be the current value while the main answer will be the multiplication of all the value so there will be the two variable the main answer which will cons consist of multiplications of all the weights while the temp answer will consist of multiplication of the current values 
so that's the same thing and we will initialize it as initially we will mark dash temp as one okay but uh, for the sake of, sake of convenience we will mark double as that 1.0 and the main main answer we will make it as what uh, you can also consider it as 1.0 or some sort of zero you can also make it as zero and yeah we can simply call the dfs for it and the src will be there there will be destination there will be the visited there will be a recent list there will be temp answer and uh, what there will be main answer there will be the so we will simply call this dfs after the calling this dfs we will simply what i will simply push push back that uh, what value main answer into my vector of answers of double so that i can simply return it in the future whenever any dfs call is over let's suppose i have called the dfs and we get the src as a and the destination as c so whenever the dfs call is over we will get the main answer as 6 so i will simply store that 6 into my answer and i will simply return that uh, whenever the all the dfs call will be over i will simply return it as answer so let me write the simple dfs functions which is simply it will be of type wide and yeah we will simply use the src and uh, what uh, it will be destination and, and what will be the set of um, string of uh, what uh, visited and it consists of a double value which will install our temp it, it will also consist of uh, what double of main answer and uh, it will also consist of what yeah, um, uh, yeah, it is also consist of it. Uh, what uh, there is a addition list. So let me consider that as addition list as here. So we will mark that as a list, and yeah, we can take it as reference. So yeah, we can take it as reference, and it's over. So now we will simply do the normal DFS that we will mark them as visited. But before checking that, uh, we will first check whether it is visited or not. So if uh, that visited dot find of what src equals to equals to uh, is not equals to as uh, dot in means that it is visited so we will simply return and we will again check if uh, that uh, what if what if if the src equals to equals to destination so we will got our answer so for that we will simply um, update our main answer main answer as temp we will update it and we will simply return it. and yeah now we will traverse over the addition list uh, in the further part okay but here we have to check one more thing uh, will i will i uh, will discuss later in this part of the video so for that part i will simply uh, in of what i will simply do the addition list src and because we have we want the adjacent nodes of what this node uh, again it will call this node as src so we will want the addition node of what this so c is the addition thing and a is the addition of b while the a uh, while for a b and c, b is the addition for a and uh, a and c are addition to b so yeah so we will simply um, check whether it is visited or not so for that we will check whether um, visited dot find uh, what i end dot first equals to equals to no, not equals to what dot end then simply we will call dfs of what dfs of i end dot first why i end dot first because it consists of the new value i end dot first consists let's suppose i call from a the i end, uh, the I end dot first will be this b uh, for uh, b uh, if I call the value, the i n dot first will be seen, not a because it is already visited. So yeah, so DFS of i n dot first, and then I will simply mark the destination as the same, which is initially it was, and I will mark the visited also as the same. And yeah, we will simply uh, return that destination list, and yeah, temp will be the new ones, which is the temp. But the here the temp will be the multiplication of the old values as well as the what the new answer, which is the temp will be the value for the multiplication of new weight so for that temp will be multiplied to i n dot and again i will simply return that main answer and yeah so it will be the same 
now i will simply do what yeah my answer is over let me run this code again and check uh, what is the happening here and i will show the error what you are doing here so yeah you can see that there is one more error which you can see uh, let me um, show you that error if the node is not present here what you can do if the node means that if uh, let's suppose in this case uh, let me show you that case let uh, x since x is not present here so why should i call the dfs so for that here so if visited dot find of as rc equals to equals not yeah equals to equals to visited dot end basically not visited but it will be the adjacency list okay since src is not in the adjacency so that means that that node is not present or or do, dot find of what uh, destination equals to equal to j dot in means that it, uh, the destination is not also present so for that case we will simply push push back else i will do the bfs call so this will be the answer for that so yeah let me run the code and yeah So let me submit the code. Actually, uh, there was some error in the recording, so I have already submitted this code two times. Okay, so let me uh, submit it again for you. So yeah, the code is running fine, and yeah, you can solve this question in very easy way. The main concept for this question is how you can convert this question into the graph question. The main thing is here, and yeah. So if you like this uh, solution, make sure to. like this videos and thanks for watching this videos but don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and share it with others your support means the world to us see you in the next videos stay awesome do practice do lots of practice and thank you guys